It's the Real Estate Podcast across every state, city and town of Australia. And welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Podcast available on iHeartRadio and also Spotify and Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts from. It's the weekend. Yes, the second day for July for 2022. If you're looking at property across the weekend, good luck with everything that you're doing and let's hope it's a very fruitful and successful weekend in real estate. And coming up, we're talking about a coastal seaside town and the lifestyle change that people are seeking in a smaller, low-key town such as the one that we're going to profile. Also talking about the Hunter Valley Prize that we are giving away, which you can now enter. Remember, you need all of those seven secret words to go into the draw two nights away, staying in the beautiful Hunter Valley, and Katie is here. If you're celebrating a birthday today for the 2nd of July, you are celebrating it with Aussie actress Margot Robbie. She is turning just 32 years young. It seems that she's been around for a long time, but she is only 32 today. From first home buyers to property investors and everything in between. Every morning on the Real Estate Podcast. And don't forget about the Hunter Valley getaway two night stay that we are giving away to one lucky Breakfast Club member. Katie Lee is back. She's going to do the final recap. Good morning, Katie. Oh, good morning, Craig. Thanks for having me. So what is the uh, last and final recap for this morning? Yes, so we've got a go-kart experience with Go-Karts Go and some more wine experiences. So you've got the wine and chocolate pairing experience with Winehouse Hunter Valley and, of course, the premium six-pack mixed wines from Wine Selectors. This is such a unique prize, Craig, and the Hunter Valley is an amazing destination, especially in the winter. And, of course, they need these seven secret words, don't they? Oh, yes. So if you haven't picked up on one of the seven secret words, make sure you go back and listen to the podcast for your chance to win this amazing experience in the Hunter Valley. It's the Main Centre Forecast with propertybuyer.com.au. All right, let's go around Australia on this Saturday morning and have a look at your weekend weather. First to Sydney, possibly some rain and some of it heavy and expecting a high today of 17 degrees. Melbourne cloudy but dry, 13 is your high. In Brisbane, expecting rain and 17 degrees is your forecast high. And in Perth, expecting a Mainly fine Saturday and 19 degrees is your forecast top. Grab your coffee and switch on your real estate breakfast every weekday morning from 6.30. Well, has there ever been a better time when people start browsing on their computers as they've done over the last couple of years for properties for sale in smaller regional areas and then initially think to themselves, well, This could be a great holiday destination only to realise, hell, let's live there permanently. It's been a real driver of an escalation on prices and none more so than some of these sleepy coastal areas around Australia. And one that we're going to look at this morning is Batesman's Bay, an idyllic location at the mouth of the Clyde River on the New South Wales coast. And joining us this morning is LJ Hooker, Batesman's Bay real estate agent, Sarah Ralston. And a very good morning to you, Sarah. Welcome to the Breakfast Podcast. Oh, good morning and thank you so much for having me on. Perhaps for the listener, why don't we get you to paint a geography lesson of where you are in relation to Sydney and Canberra? Absolutely. So yes, Batemans Bay is an absolutely gorgeous uh, town. We are positioned on the stunning Clyde River and we're uh, positioned two hours east of Canberra with the first coastal town that you arrive at when you uh, head over the Clyde Mountain and we're four hours drive from Sydney. 
And just coming back to that first opening point there, Sarah, is that a relevant thing? You know, people sitting down at their computer over the last couple of years and then just wandering off to these coastal areas and then, hello, we've bought ourselves a property. How much of that has been taking place over the last 12 months? It's been very considerable. We've had a lot of people, obviously, with the pandemic who haven't been able to travel overseas or go to other destinations. So they've been looking a little bit closer to home and discovering the beauty of the South Coast is is right at their doorstep and uh, only a few hours drive away. So it's certainly put us on a bit of a, a spotlight for people looking to purchase property. And I guess your area is no different to any other smaller coastal area. They will hear Sarah this morning talking to us going, Sarah, don't give the secret away. (laughs) Correct. I think there's a lot of locals that have sat on this beautiful area and this secret for quite some time that that would be thinking um, that way. But it's lovely to see that by having additional people uh, enjoying this area. There's been um, a lot of other growth within the uh, the town and, and the surrounding suburbs. And how much of a driver? You mentioned the drive time is two hours from Canberra and four hours from Sydney. Just how much of a driving factor do you think has that been for people? It's been a really big driving factor because I I do think that um, to be able to purchase a holiday home, there's been a lot of interest in and around this area because people want to be able to head away on a Friday night and and pop home on a Sunday evening. So to be able to enjoy uh, the holiday destination that they are purchasing in within a couple of hours drive is very important. And what about people that are thinking about possible apartment living, wanting to know a little bit more about the area? Because there are several new apartment developments going on right now. There are. There's been a really big um, demand for apartment living, particularly within the centre of Batemans Bay CBD. There's quite a few, uh, one that's just about open for um, occupation. Uh, and then there's a few that are being sold off um, off the plan at the moment. And then there'll be, there are others that are under construction. So there's been a very high demand for that convenient apartment living in the centre of Batemans Bay CBD. And what about demographically? Are you seeing more professional couples and younger families moving into the area? Absolutely. We've had, particularly again with the ability to work from home, we're seeing a lot more professional uh, families and couples moving to the area, uh, setting up little home businesses as well, Um, but also the ability to fly in and fly out from our local airport, which is only about 25 minutes drive from Batemans Bay, fly into Sydney or Marimbula from um, our airport. So the ability to fly back into the city for a monthly meeting uh, has never been easier. And Sarah, the median house price growth, what has been happening? What's been going on over the last 12 months? Oh, it's been so exciting seeing the growth in this area. Uh, There's been a really big range in and around the Batemans Bay CBD area. There have been some increases up 35%, but when you're looking more so out at uh, some of the the real beachside suburbs in and around our area, Malua Bay, uh, Browlee, uh, a lot of those areas have seen increases of 50% over the past 12 months. We've had a few properties that actually have sold within a 12-month period that have doubled what they paid for the property by half, 50%. So it's been a a very exciting time for some people that have uh, been able to take advantage of the growth in the area. And what about the new Albion Park rail bypass? A lot of people won't be aware of this, so perhaps you could just tell us a little bit about it because it is reducing the travel time to Sydney. Absolutely. So the travel time to Sydney has always been, you know, roughly around the four hour mark, uh, but there have been a reduction in the travel time by cutting out that um, sort of slow Albion Park rail, you know, a few traffic lights, a bit of bumper to bumper traffic, but now you can bypass the whole of Albion Park rail and it is shaving off, I believe, around half an hour or more off the trip, particularly in busy traffic periods like um, long weekends or school holidays. So it's been a, a fantastic addition. And what we've found is a lot of buyers that perhaps may not have looked as far as Batemans Bay are coming that little bit further because of the convenience of the bypass around Albion Park. And talking of that, what other infrastructure is taking place in and around the area? 
Well, we've had a really fantastic um, opening actually just um, last month for a fabulous aquatic centre in Batemans Bay that's been under construction now for a couple of years. Aligned with that is uh, a beautiful new 300-person theatre, um, uh, indoor pool, aquatic centres, um, slides. And yes, it's it's been a really, really welcomed uh, new development in the area that I think will be beneficial for a lot of locals and visitors alike. Um, there's also uh, plans in place for a uh, level four hospital in the area now in our Yerubadala Shire. So that will provide so much more medical facilities for uh, people that live in, and visit in the area. So we've got some exciting things coming forward. You know, I think in many cases, we remember these smaller coastal areas when we holidayed there as kids. And, you know, people grow up, but particularly if you've got the money to buy into these coastal areas. As adults, we decide to then take our families back into these areas permanently for that quieter lifestyle. Have you kind of sort of heard stories similar to that? Yeah, definitely. Back, um, I guess, when I was going to school here and a lot of people moved away for university or, or for certain training that they can't have here, we now have a section of the Wollongong University in Batemans Bay. So there is the ability to um, upskill here, but we're finding that a lot of people do come back once they've got their kids and had, had their families and they're just really enjoying the, the laid back lifestyle, but also just the beauty that this area has to offer. Well, good on you, Sarah. Thank you for giving us a bit of a breakdown on Batesman's Bay. Certainly sounds very idyllic, and we'll get you back on the show another time. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Lovely to talk to you. We connect you to the best real estate information across Australia. The Real Estate Podcast. 